narsa unit haqida gaplashamiz. 9.3 ya'ni 3-qism. News stories yangi yangiliklardagi hodisalar, goals ya'ni maqsadlarimiz use a go to say when something happened demek. Oldin so'zini qachon biror bir narsa sodir bo'lganligini aqida aytishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Toqibat last event o'tgan zamonda hozir sodir bo'lgan ish harakatlarini ko'rsatishimiz kerak. Reading and grammar ya'ni o'qish va grammatika ego ya'ni oldin so'zi. Exercise 1. Work with a partner, look at the restaurant bill. Why is that unusual? Bu qismda biz sherigimiz bilan ishlashimiz va restaurant bill ya'ni restoran chekiga to'lovga qarashimiz kerak va buning nima uchun unusual ya'ni noodatiy ekanligini topishga harakat qilishimiz kerak. Va o'zingiz ko'rganingizdek javobimiz the waiter's tip is very big it's 3000 dollars ya'ni afitantga tashlab ketilgan choy puli choy chaqa juda ham katta 3000 dollarni tashkil qiladi. Exercise 2 read the news stories and answer the questions. Bu qismda esa biz yana bir marta news stories ni o'qishimiz kerak va pastdagi berilgan quyidagi savollarga javob berishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Keling endi javoblarni birgalikda ko'rib chiqamiz. 1. What is a normal tip in America? Ya'ni Amerikada odatiy choychaqa qancha? It is between 10 and 20% of the cost, ya'ni butun chekni undan 20% gacha bo'lgan qismi. What happened a 6 months ago in Michigan and be last week in California, see yesterday in Los Angeles? A a customer left a 3000 tip on a 88 dollar bill. And be a worker in a fast food restaurant got a hundred dollar tip for a four dollar drink, and see in Los Angeles a waiter got a six thousand dollar tip for his service. Who did it? Well, uh, no one knows their name, but people think it's a group of internet millionaires from California. And four, why did they do it? Well, uh, they want to help poor people. <laughs> Ne işin edin mi? Borup içeydi bunu. Yok bir tintik nasıl oluyordu? Evet, şu zaman iki. Exercise 3. Work with a partner, discuss the questions, sharing is bilan işleyin ve soğullarına muhakeme kılın. 1. Who do you give tips to? Waiters, taxi drivers, hotel staff, etc. Kim gelsiz, çocuğa kaldırasız. Restoran, kodumları... Demek afiyetler, taksi drivers, taksiçiler, hotel staff yani mehmukana kadınlar ve başkalar. Two, how much do you give? Five percent, ten percent, fifteen percent, etc. Videonun pauza kani ve bu maçta müsakar ravişte hareket kalıp görün. Keling endi taxminiy javoblarni ko'rib chiqamiz. Well, I give tips to waiters and hotel staff, no taxi drivers. Uh, it's not accepted in our country and I probably give 5 to 10% of the total cost. Exercise 4A. Read the grammar focus box about the go, complete the gap o'qishimda ego ya'ni oldin haqidagi grammar focus qutchamiz o'qishimiz kerak va berilgan boshliqni to'ldirishimiz kerak bo'ladi. Grammar focus ego we use ego to say when something happened in the past. Ego olden sözünü biror bir narsaning o'tgan zamonda qachon sodir bo'lganligini aytishda ishlatishimiz mumkin. Past and now. Past 2011 left school. Uh, 2013 got married and 2016 uh, now. I left school 5 years ago and I got married 3 years ago. Exercise 4B. Rewrite sentences 1 to 5 using ego. Bu qısımda ego, yani olden sözünü işletken xoğlda, birinciden beşinci keçib olgan gəplərini yenə bir bar qaytlarını yazışımız gərək bolada. Videonu pauza qarayın və maşını bacarışkan xarəkət qalıb qorayın. Gəlin, yenə cavablarına bir gəldi. Təkşirib çıxamız. He got married in 2010 or 2010. He got married 6 years ago. Yəni, kitab bu 2016-cı ilə çıxanı gəlçün xam 6 years ago. 2. I saw her on Sunday. Demək, bugün payşəmbə. Demək, I saw her 
four days ago. Three, she went to Switzerland in June. Well, uh, she went to Switzerland, it's December, six months ago. Four, he left his job last week. Uh, he, ha he left his job a week ago. Five, he, we sold our house in 2012 or 2012. Uh, they make, uh, it's 2021 now, when we sold our house 10 years ago. Pronunciation, yani talaffuz. Words stress in two syllable words. Yani iki bogonli sözlerde verilen sözlerde stress yani olgunu koyuş. Exercise 5a. Listen and write the words in the correct place in the table. Bu kısımda ise biz sözlerini eşitçimiz ve verilen sözlerini doğru, cadvalinin doğru kısmı geçerleştirişimiz gerek. Bu arada bu kodingiz korganinizde iki bogonli kısımda birinci bogon ve ikinci bogon. Answer about uh, audio 9.12 About Ago Answer Color Correct Decide Fashion Forget Hotel Lucky Meeting Story Ego to Color one correct two decide uh, one fashion one forget two hotel one lucky one meeting one story one exercise five B listen and check and repeat books in the best out yana yana bar bar ishimas job learn the texture watch us but both so then yana bar bar telephones or shush master the kaita shimas kerek Audio 9.13 Stress on the first syllable Answer Color Fashion Lucky Meeting Story Stress on the second syllable About Ago. Correct. Decide. Forget. Hotel. Exercise 6. Work with a partner practicing sentences 1 to 4. Books in the old sharing with and book with a partner practicing sentences 1 to 4. Books in the old Killing in the box and then open chamas. One, I had a meeting two hours ago. Two, is this the correct answer? Three, I can't decide what color to wear. Four, I, I know a good story about the lucky waiter in a hotel. Exercise 7a. When was the last time you did the last thing? Make notes. They make a hard year matter. Show a shlana kalganing is not top shingis kere. Va haitan et kitching is kere bolade. Utomas video na pausa kaling. Va bumashna mustaka yosma rausibaja shaharikat kalab kori. Getting in the Tahmini job and Korab Chamas. I played sports five months ago. I bought something online uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I saw a film at the cinema a year ago. I phoned a friend three months ago. I went to a concert three years ago. I forgot something important one day ago. Exercise 7b, work with a partner, ask and answer questions about the items in exercise 7a. 
Demek siz o şeyin üstüne işleyin ve yedinci A maşkıda verilirken geplerine ve yüke hadiseler hakkında soru verin ve sorularına cevap verin. Ve tahmini kısımda A. When did you last play sport? I played sport a week ago. Who did you play with? Listening and speaking yani işte şu an unutma karatımızı aşırı şey hareket kalamız. Asking questions about news stories. Yani yengeliklerde bulgen hadiseler hakkında sorular veriş. Exercise 8A. Work with a partner, look at the illustrations from news story. What do you think happened? Bu kısımda siz o şeyin yüzlendirilmesini kez ve bu resimlerine karigen halde nima bölgenliğine tahmin kılışın kez gerek boladı. Exercise 8B Listen to the story and check your answers. Bu kısımda ise biz bu hadisana, yani kilerde kiliyan hadisana işçimiz ve uzumuzun yani tahminlerimizi tekrar başlamamız gerek bolada. Audio 9.14. One night in March 2008, Julio Diaz was in a train station in New York. He saw a boy with a knife. Give me your money, said the boy. Diaz gave him his wallet and his jacket to keep him warm. But then he said to the boy, Do you want something to eat? The boy said, Yes. So they went to a restaurant together. They ate and talked. When the bill came, Diaz said, Can I have some money? The boy gave him all the money. Diaz paid the bill and then gave the boy twenty dollars. Exercise 9a. Uh, put the words in the correct order to make questions. They make a boo yer the building and so on the Torah that you get your lesters or Kali, Torah, so all learner and to show us Kerek Bola the vision of Pazakani, but much no budget Shaharaket Kalab Korin. Kelling in the job land of the group chamas. One, when did it happen? Two, where did it happen? Three, who did the man see? Four, what did the boy say? Five, what did the man do? Six, why did the man give his jacket to the boy? Seven, how did the story end? Exercise 9b. Listen again and answer the questions. Bu kısımda audio'nun yana bir boyu işçimiz ve bu belgen soğullarına cevap vermemiz gerek boladı. En iki renk belgelikte cevaplarını korup çıkamız. Well, uh, when did it happen? Well, it happened in the evening or at night. Two, where did it happen? Well, it happened in subway station in one of the trains. Three, who, the man, who did the man see? Well, he saw the boy, a boy with a knife. Four, what did the boy say? Well, the boy said, the boy threatened and just said, Give me all your money and give me all your things. Five. What did the man do? Well, man gave his uh, wallet and the jacket. Six. Why did the man give his jacket to the boy? Well, he didn't want the boy to be uh, cold and he wanted the boy to be warm. Seven. How did the story end? Well, story ended when they went to a restaurant, they had a meal, and at the end, uh, the man asked his wallet back and the man uh, paid for the dinner and the man gave him, uh, gave the boy to $20 bill. Exercise 9C. Work with a partner, ask and answer the question in exercise 9A. Do you think Diaz did the right thing? Why? Why not? Bu kısımda o şeyiniz ile işleyin. Ve 9A maçıdaki sorularını verin birbirinizde ve onlarla cevap bir şey hareket edin. Ve Diaz doğru karar kıldı mı? Yoki doğru çıkıldı mı? Şunu var yola yine anıqla şey hareket edin. Ve bu ki tahmini sebeplerini verin. Reading skills. Guessing meaning from context. Bu yerde okuş makaratımızı aşırıyoruz ve kontekstten malum bir söz manasını topu olarak şey hareket edemiz. When you don't know a word, look at the words next to it, but also the whole sentence or paragraph. This helps you get the meaning. Eğer tekste bir olur malum adına ya ki bir olur bir sözünü düşünmeye kalırsanız, şu sözden ki gelgen sözlerle yetibar verin. Ve bütün umumi çıxatdan paragraf ve gap ne maqada gidiyorkenli ki ham etibar verişe hareket edin, onu ilgı barışe hareket edin ve bu teknikalar, bu sistemalar sizge bu siz bölmegen sözünün manasını topuşge yardan beri adı. Ve bu yerde tahmini cevap, misal sıfatı da There were lots of people at the station because it was rush hour. 
bu yerde ko'p odam bor edi va bu yerda ravsh avr, ya'ni ravsh savati bo'lganligini ko'rishingiz mumkin. Bundan keyingi kelgan so'z, demak, ajratilgan ravsh so'zidan keyingi kelgan so'z hour refers to time, ya'ni bu soat so'zi vaqtga ma'no vaqt ma'nosini beradi va there are lots of people. Demek u yerda ko'plab odamlar bor. This so the station is busy, ya'ni stansiya juda ham band yoki tirband. Va well, shundan xulosa uh, qilishimiz mumkinki, rush hour is busy time. Bu well, well, bu qismda rush hour uh, busy time, ya'ni uh, biror bir narsa band bo'ladigan, juda ham bandlik uh, bo'ladigan vaqt tushunaladi. Exercise 1. Work with a partner, read the first sentence from the story and answer the questions. O'z shiringiz bilan ishlang va uh, gapdagi uh, story, ya'ni uh, hikoyadagi birinchi gapni o'qing va shu savollarga javob berishga harakat qiling. Videoni pauza qiling va mashqni mustaqil ravishda bajarishga harakat qiling. Keling endi javoblarni birgalikda tekshirib chiqamiz. 1. What tip did the waiter receive? So he received $7000. 2. What is the normal tip for a $50 bill in the USA? As we have read, although we can say, bu 10% to 20%, so the well tip for this amount will be 10 uh, 5 to 10 dollars 3 why what do you think the highlight the word means bu berilgan ajat berilgan so'zning ma'nosi nima it's be very big ya'ni huge so'zi juda ham ulkan degan ma'noni bildiradi exercise 2 read the first two sentences of the story look at the word but though and mistake what does the highlighted phrase mean Bu qismda berilgan uh, story, ya'ni hikoyaning ikkita gapini o'qishingiz kerak va berilgan so'zlar, ya'ni ammo shunga qaramasdan uh, mistake xato so'zlarini qaragan holda, o'shalarga e'tibor bergan holda uh, ajratib ko'rsatilgan so'zning yoki frazaning ma'nosini topishingizga harakat qilishingiz kerak. Videoni pauza qiling va mashqni bajarishga harakat qilib ko'ring va bu so'zlarni takrorlang va uh, ma'nosini toping. O'zingiz ko'rganingizdek, throw away a bill, the bill demek uh, throw away tashlab yuboradi degan ma'noni anglat Exercise 3a. Read the whole text, underline new words that you aren't sure about. Demek bu qismda butun tekstni o'qing va siz o'zingiz amin bo'lmagan so'zlaringizni belgilab ketishingiz kerak bo'ladi, ya'ni bilmagan so'zlaringizni belgilab keting. Exercise 3b. Work with a partner, say what you think the new words mean. Bu qismda belgilangan so'zlaringizni endi o'z sheringiz bilan ishlashingiz va bu so'zlarni nima, taxminiy nima ma'no anglatishini topishga harakat qilishingiz kerak. Shu bilan bugungi darsimiz o'z nafasiga yetdi. Sizni keyingi darslarda kutib qolamiz.